Welcome to an example in which we are plotting this number on the complex plane. So we're th this is the complex plane. And you may think, well, this is just a normal x, y axis. Well, yeah, but we're making it the complex plane, which makes this the real numbers and the y axis the imaginary. So it's called the complex plane. What do we mean complex plane? Because what you get do you know what a complex number is? So a three plus negative three i. This is a complex number. This has a real part, right? That's a real number. You can have three dollars. This right here is not real, imaginary. You can't have and the temperature can't, in Minnesota can't be negative 3i. I is imaginary. It's not real. So if you have a real part and an imaginary part put together in one number, that's called a complex number. It's complex because it has two parts, a real part and an imaginary part. So when a real part and an imaginary part get together in one number, we call that a complex number. And we like to graph those on the complex plane complex plane, the x-axis is the real part of the number, and the y-axis is the imaginary part of the number. So you treat it just like an xy. In other words, this is like x, and this is like y. So starting from the origin, you go right 3, because that's positive 3, and then down 3, 1, 2, 3, because that's negative 3, right? Plus 3 and minus 3i. See, the imaginary numbers go up and down because the imaginary axis is the y-axis, and the real numbers go right and left because the x-axis is the real axis. So when all is said and done, here is the point. So 3, well, we, we, we say that's the point. This right here is the point 3 plus negative 3i, or you could just say 3 minus 3i, same thing. There it is. That's the dot we put on the complex plane. That one dot represents the complex number, 3 plus negative 3i, or 3 minus 3i, same thing. There we go.